real quick about um, installing your fan. Um, you know, I just seen this one here was done wrong, so I thought, you know what, a lot of people might not know this, so I better show you, just in case you don't. So, when you're putting your fan on your motor here, on your, on your new generator or alternator, um, you should always have a total of three of these shims, the stock shims, okay? Total of three. So, it can be one on one side and two on the other side or whatever, but it should have a total of three shims on the fan. Also, if you have this size, you see how this, this one here is small, they have one that's slightly bigger than this. If it's a small one, it should have a flat washer on it, uh, and it's a original flat washer. So if you don't have it, you might have to go to the Volkswagen store, and they might sell you the larger one that looks just like this, but it's larger and a little bit thicker, and then that one you don't need a washer. Okay, you always will still need three shims. So what you do is you space your fan by putting, let's say, one shim on, and if it rubs the metal here, then you put two shims on, and then and then you put the third shim on the other side of the fan. So it'd be kind of like this. So you'd have here's another fan. Two two shims on this side right and one shim on this side of the fan so a total of three all the time okay no matter what I'm not telling you to put three shims on this side of your fan every time because it might rub on the shroud on here so you know it's all about the spacing so that it doesn't rub that's what that's for now the other important thing to look for if you especially if you did not have the proper amount of shims on there is to look for it's especially right in here around this thing here look for cracks in your fan because this one there's a shim on there still I'll take that off this one we have one shim and that's it okay so what you do is you look around the edge of here look for cracks going this way also look for, you know, look around the welds where they have these little things, the welds. Look for cracked and missing uh, uh, fan blades. So, it, you know, and, and if it has any cracks in it, replace it and make sure that it's the proper size. So if you have a doghouse shroud, it's going to be slightly thicker than this. The fan is going to be slightly thicker here than the the older shroud than the stand-up uh, cooler shroud so you know those are the types of things to look for but you know it because I've seen so many times and the reason I'm going to tell you this is you might think well I've got a stand-up shroud so I'm gonna have a stand-up cool uh, fan you may not maybe somebody's replaced to put the wrong one in and it's been rubbing and you didn't know it or vice versa usually is the case they had put the early sh uh, fan in on a on a uh, doghouse shroud and then there's too much space in there and the fan doesn't adequately cool the engine so you know those are just a couple things to look for um, there are others um, and apparently uh, another thing that goes wrong let me just do this one real quick is is when people put this tin on they put this thing to the top instead of the bottom um, apparently what it's supposed to do is bring air cool air from the inch from here in through here and then go out through the bottom of the car because remember the same thing as the engine cooling as everything else the cool air is on the engine uh, on this side of your engine okay the hot air is coming out the bottom so this thing right here being on the bottom will create a suction because the air is all the air is going down right so if you had it on the top going this way 
then what you're doing is you're recirculating hot air. So you, you're basically pushing the air out this way, this way of your engine, versus sucking it through and going out the bottom. That's, you know, I, I, I'm sure it may work either way, but the engine was designed to have that vent on the bottom. So keep that in mind when you put your your uh, shroud, your, your, your cooling fan together. Um, there is a proper way, and you should always have a wave washer, the wave washer, the thick wave washer, and then the large nut like this, an original large nut. So, you know, that's the way you stack your whole thing. So you've got this. You're going to have a flat washer on this style one. You're going to have three shims somewhere, either on either side of the fan. And then you're going to have another wave washer that goes on the other side of the fan. And then your nut like that. Okay? Has to be done right. If you put it together and you don't have the right amount of shims in there, you will end up with a cracked fan eventually. So that's how that happens. Is because if if you keep all the proper shims in there, I've yet to see one unless you're running like ridiculously high RPMs, like seven thousand RPMs or more, and then the fans blow up. I mean, they're not designed to go that fast. So, um, just a couple heads up on assembling your fan on your generator.